I believe, I believe that this, what we're getting ready to do, is going to change a whole bunch of things in years to come. Because this is not just about basketball, let me be clear. Okay. This, is, this is about outstanding talent and athletics, academics, and community. And we're going we're gonna to do some amazing things with that. The official sweatshirt, you know what I'm saying? The okay. Yeah, record the young man. Let's put this all over the world right now. Mm -hmm. I just want to thank every, uh, every one of you guys for coming out and uh, appreciate you guys um, spending time here to come and uh, celebrate and uh, recognize the things that I did for a North Bend community. Um, I just want to recognize you guys too though for just being a big part of my life and being uh, here and being dedicated to be just a part of the accomplishments that not just me or but what, also what the community is doing and um, you guys are just really, really special to me and uh, I appreciate everything that you guys have done. Um, you know, you guys show me how to have faith and uh, just to keep going when times are going rough or times are getting hard, um, just to keep pushing. And that's what I've done and that's what I'm going to keep doing. So uh, I appreciate you guys for showing me, you know, how to become a young man and, you know, uh, just follow by those, the simple rules, you know, treat people how you want to be treated. He's been special. He, he has been special. And Biggs, one of the things um, that I want to say to you, man, and I think it's important, Know that you are special. Know that you are special. And one of the things that I most appreciate about Biggs is this. You know, you see kids and, you know, we know the challenges when you grow up in this community and live in this community and go to school in this community, all that kind of thing. But he's never been a follower. Well, I go somewhere to make some, somewhere else better when you can just do it in your own home and make your home as the best as you could there. So. You know, like I could have been to you know any other school, but instead I wanted to stay in the community and uh, make my community good. Um, and, you know, not take the talents away from the community that's here right now and make it somewhere else, but be my talents to where it all started at was well bigger in the north side of the, um, of the community. So uh, yeah. actually, you know, celebrate Odell and Cindy Wilson. Please stand up. Please stand up. That's right. And just stay standing. Hold on one second. Let me just say something. See, I've been knowing them for a long time. I've been long, knowing them for a very long time. And they've always been giving. They've always been a role model of, of what a family, a husband and wife look like. And they've shined on this community. They, they've been a giving to this community. They've been an example for this community. And so when we have people like this in front of us, and then the, these outstanding young people that come from them, if we don't acknowledge this stuff, then shame on us. Shame on us. And it's really, thank you, thank you, Lucas. No, <laughs> but what I'm saying is, if we don't take the time to do that, then what are we gonna be treated like? Even by ourselves. You know, just how, how to be a young man I am right now and to keep pushing and having good faith and, you know, don't listen to the negative, but follow the positive because you know who you are. Like, because because you said, uh, you know, just know that you're special and just believe, believe in yourself. So that's what I'm going to keep doing and keep doing uh, think about the next level of where I go. All right. Take that trophy with you too, man, because we already did. We got that to you earlier too. Okay, uh, Minnesota City Sports Club, uh, 2018 uh, Minnesota Basketball Player of the Year. I'm standing right next to the brother. Introduce yourself to the listening audience, brother. Uh, Odell Wilson. My brother, now we had that press conference at North High, but today 
was your actual award ceremony and banquet. Man, give us some thoughts about everything and how you think everything turned out, brother. I feel it turned out great. Uh, seen a lot of faces, a lot of alumni. Cameron Taylor, uh, one of the fellow alumni from North High, did big things too, came out to support. Uh, the whole community came out to support. Uh, just appreciate everybody that came and just felt good and I felt really appreciated. That's what's happening now. Brother, um, my man at, um, uh, I talked to him a little earlier. My brother, we used to call him Griffey. He played in the basketball league called the GBA. He's the one who designed your sweatshirt, brother. What's going on, y'all? I already know what it is. It's your man, Dino Bambino, a.k.a., you know what I'm saying, Mr. Hater Proof himself. Um, HAP Customs is where we over here at. Uh, we're working on a pretty hot situation uh, for Odell. Uh, I appreciate young men that work hard in every aspect of their life, so we're going to sponsor the situation. Um, and we're going to do it organically with something great for him. I hope he love it. So, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, y'all yeah, know me. Y'all know what it is. Now, talk a little bit real quick, brother, because we know you're in high design fashion right now. Um, how important is it for the young ones to stay engaged and keep a balance? You know, there's athletics, and we definitely celebrate, you know, the excellence on the court. But you know, that well-rounded kind of self that we want the young ones to kind of grow into. How important is it to have that balance, especially moving on after high school? Well, first of all, there is no guarantees in regards to sports. Sports is just a part of life. It's just a, a, a time. So all people, young men and all, should know that you should plan for anything after sports. So your education is uh, should be number one. And uh, anytime we got a young man that's putting that first and he's still good at the other uh, situation and, and is accelerant, well, we should really lift him up and show everybody else that that should be the number one focus. And, and if it's not happening, it's our duty uh, to, to make it happen. No doubt. And so real quick, for those who want to get that, um, you know, that print, you feel me, who uh, value the, you know, the printed item of fashion and um, the clothing that you create here. Uh, why don't you direct everybody to how to get in touch with you and anything that you might have online for people to sample. Okay. Uh, we're over here at 816 East 38th Street in Minneapolis, uh, right uh, off of 30th in Chicago by Cup Foods, if uh, you, you're familiar. Um, the name of the spot is H8P Customs. It is formerly known as Hater Proof Customs, but we are Hater Proof. That's what it's about. You can hit us at 612-823-H8PC. So basically, it's 612-823-H8PC, and that's 4872. Uh, we're online at Facebook, on Facebook at HAP Customs. Uh, of course, that's Facebook, forward slash HAP Customs. We're on everything as HAP Customs, our website, everything. Uh, it's all organic. H8, the number P, Customs. Talk to me. That's what's happening. That's my man, Dino, a.k.a. Griff. Uh, definitely a GBA legend. You know what I'm saying? We're going to have to come back and talk to my man actually about, you know, reflecting on that time period uh, at a different point in time. But we definitely appreciate the sponsorship and the support. So this is, again, a business spotlight on hater proof designs. And that's right. HAP Custom is ex exclusive custom and printing. And you can come and get your joint printed up, pressed and ready to go. All right. We out. Do you want to give him some shout outs on that on that love? Man, shout man, shout you up for real, for real. Uh, I love this shirt a lot. I plan on wearing it tomorrow to school actually. But um, this is funny because I was just talking to my mom about the sweatshirts and the new sweatshirts and this is having all the accomplishments in my picture right here just looks really good. Uh, I appreciate it a lot and I love the shirt. Thank you. Okay. And uh, any any departing words, man, that you want to give to other young brothers and sisters like those ninth graders or eighth graders or tenth that are uh, following in your footsteps is there any words of wisdom that you can give them just stay away from the uh, negative energy stay positive uh be true to yourself you know have faith in what you can uh, do and, and your abilities uh just don't let nobody uh, say you can't do it and just have that faith and belief in yourself and anything is possible okay that's what's happening you heard it from the minnesota 2018 a minnesota basketball player of the year from the um, city sports club live from minneapolis we um right in the community on Plymouth Ave, across the street from the Urban League at UROC. I'm here with the young lady. I'm going to let her introduce herself to the listening audience. Okay, my name is uh, Crystal Flint, and i um close family friend, um, current girls basketball coach, Minneapolis North High School, 
And uh, Odell is a really, really special kid to me. Um, people don't know it, but um, when I started my son playing, I had Biggs, my oldest son, and I started a fundamental basketball um, training at, um, at a Longfellow Park. And Biggs and my son was one of the ones that, you know, were some of the kids that came in. And I ended up coaching Biggs from uh, fifth grade to eighth grade into high school. And I have to give him credit because he could have played seventh grade basketball but he he was loyal to our urban stars family and he stayed with us until he was able to go on and play eighth grade and and play for high school so he's always just been just an awesome kid okay. um talk a little bit about today what you saw today um how important is it for us to acknowledge our own accomplishments and maybe some of the things uh, expectations for the future um with this particular ceremony and banquet that is definitely community driven mm -hmm. it was it's definitely inspiring and i just like to take the time you know to thank you for you know just thinking about this because a lot of times not just thinking about it but doing it because a lot of times we think about it and we say oh you know so and so really should have been this should have been that but for you to actually put this together in a short amount of time and um it's needed it's needed because um, you know, we have so many accomplishments that go unnoticed. And if we sit back and we wait for other people to uh, affirm us, then, you know, sometimes it just never happens. So I think that this is very much needed, much like, you know, the inner city classic that you guys did years ago. Um, and, and it's actually lit a fire in me that and confirmed that, you know, I got to keep it going on, too. You know, we have some young ladies and I know it was a young man now. But I know, shoot, why can't we do it for a young lady? I mean, we have um, Morgan Taylor over at South High School that has great accomplishments and wasn't even a top five finalist. So there's more Odell Wilsons out there that we have to, we have to do that for them. Well, you know what? Um, first of all, let me respect your passion, your acknowledgement about this needed in the community. Um, we're definitely going to be expanding the committee. You feel me? Because this is not just about our young men. We're going to be very inclusive. Mm -hmm. And also, we're going to actually expand the model out to uh, a Hall of Fame yes. that's needed because yes. there's been many that's come before that still haven't gotten their acknowledgement, and we always got to be teaching the youth. You you lit a, a fire in me, brother, and I will, if you have me, love to come in and sit in on your meetings and, and help with even that Hall of Fame. I'm not from Minnesota, no, no. but I know a lot of the the, the, the struggles and, and, and the people that were overlooked. Tracy Henderson, who should have gotten Miss Basketball back in, what was that, 95 maybe. There's many. So we, we got to make that happen. We got to do it together. Okay. And we can only do it when we work together. So definitely, sister, salute. Thank you. You know, your fire has been lit, yes. and we look yes. forward to great it's things. Okay, no doubt. I mean, we got two black newspapers in this city, fortunately. We got all kinds of media in this city. I mean, for these kind of accomplishments to happen, all kind of political leadership in this city. All kinds of people who wrote grants on a lot of pain in this city. And it's funny that these are people right here in front of our faces doing it every day. And we choose to, um, I don't know, I don't, I don't know where we're at. I mean, are we just like getting to a place where we worship death? When people are living right in front of us demonstrating this kind of excellence. But I, I swear to God, during this political season, I heard a lot of people talking. I heard a lot of people talking what they was going to do and how they stand for this, that, and other. But when, you know, again, when we stand on the square that we stand on, which is a firm foundation of family first, and then our young ones come and stand on that foundation that we support for them. Then the community obviously, can, this, this all can't happen. North High School can't happen without community, with all the struggle that North High School's been through over the years. But we can't even take the time out to acknowledge the living. 
but we celebrate the death. Yeah, we live on location real quick. We getting ready to get out of here, but I'm lounging with DJ Don P. Sister, how you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing good. Now, um, Sister, this was a feel-good moment today. The community came together. We acknowledged the young one for outstanding accomplishments. Um, DJ Don, first of all, talk about how important is the music vibration in, in atmospheres like this? It's great. You know, it keeps everything upbeat and it, it just fills the moment and it, you can't go wrong with music. Music is the best feeling in the world. So you got to have it. Mm -hmm. And last question, DJ Dime. How important, you know, is it, you know, there was a theme around um, you know, kind of em community empowerment, owning your own institutions and acknowledging our, um, those accomplishments in the community. Um, speak on uh, some of the things that maybe what you heard here today and what the community may have missed. Well, I think owning is important, period, especially for us as uh, people of color and black people. Um, own your own business and put it back into the community where you came from. That's the only way we're going to keep building, which is great. And as far as the message today, it was great. It was great to um, acknowledge, like someone said, um, a young brother for good reason and not a funeral or something bad or things like that so we have to give people roses while they're still here and it was a great thing that us as a community was able to do that for him so i just want to say um you know big ups to biggs wilson and i hope he goes far and gives back to the community like me mm -hmm. and dj dime for those who want to engage with your music vibration you know and how you move the spirit and the energy in the room uh tell us uh give us the information how, how we can uh, get in contact with you definitely you can uh hit me up on my website www.branddime.com that's b-r-a-n-d-d-i-m-e.com okay thank you dj dime appreciate you being here it was an honor to have you we are live at urock we are departing the situation um and we just had an excellent excellent uh, ceremony banquet for my man Odell Wilson the fourth Minnesota basketball player of the year um, brother window uh, we we're, we're, we want to just get some words on what what was your thought about everything today uh, speak to the community brother we're just trying to inspire some people could you just talk about what we did today well when the sister spoke about Wakanda that is something that nonfiction exists already we don't have to wait for the dictates See, there's a lot of falsities in fiction that's already going on every day. They want you to operate in fiction. But the non-fictional aspect, the reality of our existence and how we survive oppression and oppression, we have an opportunity to change our scenery. And today was so rewarding is to see people like yourself come together to motivate and promote a young man who was homegrown, out of Minneapolis from from scratch cake. Right, from scratch you know what I'm saying? Cake, yeah. And um three point eight, I'm more impressed with that than two thousand points and rebound. Yeah. Yeah. See right. the Bible says, I am the vine, God says, mm -hmm. and you're the branch. Unless you connect it to the vine, you cannot prosper. He was raised from a community with strong vines and roots. Yeah, right. And so what else can you expect when you get the support of your community? This right here is an example of what every major urban city and a bar for black folks, and I said black folks, it is time to recognize the jewels in your community. Mm. You said it, and you started with it. It is better to cultivate, motivate, and encourage what's in your community than standing at a eulogy. And I rest my case. I'm here with uh, Sister. I'm going to allow you to introduce yourself to the listening audience. Cynthia Wilson. Okay, now, Mrs. Wilson, first of all, let me say you and Brother Odell Wilson have definitely been a pillar in the community. We acknowledge your your excellence, you know, in family and role modeling, uh, sunlight to the you know to the to the community. So, first of all, thank you for doing what you do and being a, a servant as you are, and um, and Big O too, Odell Wilson. Um, what did you think about today? Um, you know, just thoughts. It was remarkable. Just the fact that uh, we had family and community, and and it, it was a beautiful thing. And this is really what community is all about, because this is really what makes up uh, who we are. Okay. And the more we can get our community and our people out to invoke this type of change is a beautiful thing. Okay. 
Now, there's been some conversation about um, this Minnesota City Sports Club um, and some some initiatives. There's been some things said. Um, will it take a, a new car being presented to the Basketball Player of the Year next year for the media to come out and acknowledge this, or would it take a dead body? If I had to guess, I'd say a dead body. And that's very unfortunate, but the reality is we are going to get a car next year. So, um, And we're, we're actually looking at getting a car for the recipient this year. So it's a beautiful thing, and I'm excited about where it's going, and I'm just very blessed to be a part of this first annual. Okay. To, the fact that this was grassroots, and I'm, to be a part of that is, is, is amazing. It's a beautiful day. It's a beautiful evening. Minnesota City Sports Club, a phenomenal event. Uh, we are live um, in the heart of the black community. Uh, it's been an excellent day. It's been an excellent evening. Uh, big shout out to my man Odell Wilson, uh, the fourth, for doing phenomenal things. And big shout out to the community that was here to witness his, his award. And just last thing as we depart, for those who may think that some things can happen because you don't have what you don't have, how do things happen? God will make anything happen. Okay, we out. All right. Thank you, sister. All right. Good work. Good work. Good work. Good work. Live on location in New York City, uptown, you know, in Manhattan. Yo, I'm lounging with this brother, Tony Taylor. And what, are, what are some of the things that you see needed from the community and within the city, period, for as far as, you know, doing more positive things like this within the community involving the kids and the youth and everything like that? It's not only about basketball but it's also about community building too. What we see it as and the, and the vision of it is not only to be a platform to recognize um, the outstanding talent as far as the senior, graduating senior basketball players in the community, but also soon to be um, a vehicle to recognize maybe outstanding fathers in the community, um, outstanding academic achievements in the community um, and things of that nature. Uh, basically a community forum like you have here um, with the peers, um, with the youth, with their peers and um, their community members just to recognize themselves because that's important in any growing process to be recognized for our achievements. I believe, I believe that this, what we're getting ready to do is going to change a whole bunch of things in years to come because this is not just about basketball, let me be clear. This is, this is about outstanding talent and athletics, academics, and community. And we're gonna, we're gonna do some amazing things with that. Okay. Yeah, record the young man. Let's put this all over the world right now. Mm -hmm.